in the coffee! Yes. We're here. It's the boys from Hey, We're Talking, and it's Friday. Exciting times. Derek Tant is here. Give him a second to uh, respond. That's, that's Mark yes. Ensby right there. I'm excited. What? That's Mark, and I'm Danny. Why, why are you saying that? Because obviously you want to have shows with them all the time. <laughs> So that's no, Mark, they've just, and I'm Danny, and that's that. They've joined the the fracas. What am I supposed to do? It's fun. I wanted you told me to keep doing more shows. Don't give me crap about it. Okay. Derek, I'm gonna pause and let you say hello. Go. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm doing well. There's a lot of construction going around on around my house, <laughs> and my wife's vehicle's in the shop, and that's all I really need to say now. Oh. All right, nice having you on the show, Derek. If you guys don't know, <laughs> if you guys haven't been watching uh, this week, Derek is like, so the, the software that we use, it's called uh, Mimo Live. And you're not going to, nobody cares about this, but I'm going to tell him anyway. Derek ends up being about like two and a half seconds behind. So like right now, if I play Yaz, he's going to hear it in two and a half seconds. Yas. There it is. Yeah, he was supposed to like say he heard it, but he just nodded his oh, head. Do it again. <laughs> do, all right, do it again. Boss. I One, just heard it. <laughs> so if if you hear Derek like going like oh I uh and getting like frustrated a little bit, it's because he's two and a half seconds behind us. We, and we I don't, yelled at Scott last show. <laughs> we we don't know we how did. to fix it. No, you yelled at me on Monday. That's the funny thing. Oh Cause, yeah, because remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did the thing. I yelled at Scott yeah, with the stuff, yeah. four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> not oh not ten gosh. minutes ago, four days ago. <laughs> oh, dude. This is so funny. Anyway, <laughs> so pardon us if if sometimes things are a little weird, but it's technology. As um as all the Australian people say, tech is hard. That's their little hashtag. They all say tech is hard all the time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, hashtag. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't think tech is hard necessarily. I just think tech sometimes doesn't do what we want it to do. No, the internet should be instantaneous. No delay it should whatsoever. Be. It Everything should be. I want on demand. Yeah, someday when someone like blows off that EMP and we lose every elect electronic device, people are really going to lose their minds, aren't they? You watch too many. I'll be movies. okay. <laughs> See, Derek, that was good. So when you're getting ready to say something, just kind of like as you feel us getting ready to stop talking, just start talking and it'll be perfect. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I love that. That was awesome, dude. That was really good. Bob didn't. I mean, congratulate him. That was good. Boss. Good, 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 good Thanks, job, Bob. Derek. 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 Hey, listen, we should do a poll. A poll and whoa, of the whoa, listeners. Whoa. We should, we, that's that's like two shows this week. You we should getting... poll the listeners <laughs> and and find out do they like when Bob is smoking a pipe? Because you can tell like the way he talks and stuff. Should he get the pipe out of his mouth during the show? Yeah, the, I'm gonna tell you that, that nobody cares. Nobody. Do you don't think anybody cares? Nope. I don't okay. think anybody gives two craps. Wow. Whether Bob is smoking a pipe. Man, or there not. is like. That there's so much Unless, attitude. If Bob disappeared Unless from the show, a... nobody would care. That's not true <laughs> no. at all. Two of us well, would care. Two people would care. Yeah, that's definitely not true. But <laughs> maybe if he was smoking a radiator pipe, people would care. Which yeah. you can get at hwieebe.com mm -hmm. and put in a coupon code for HWT for 15% off your order to get the radiator pipe from Hector Weeb. It is a cool, dry smoke. I know cool because thing, I smoke one myself. The cool thing about his pipes is they're totally customizable. So you can actually take the bowl off of the base mm -hmm. and put a different bowl on there. Mm -hmm. Something totally different if you wanted to. For those Mine's, of you listening at home, he was taking the bowl off the top of the radiator oh, pipe. Oh, should, should I? Hold on. Let me go do it again so they can hear it unscrew. <laughs> oh, we heard it. We heard it a little bit. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Uh -huh. Okay. Are so we yes, gonna, the top comes off. All you almost sound stuff. like you're you doing one of those... Bob, you sound like you're doing one of those ASMR 
videos. You ever seen those? No. Where the people whisper everything into the microphone and they make little those sounds. Those are so annoying. Yeah, it's so stupid. Stupid. Oh, thanks. I'm glad I'm stupid. <laughs> Not you. <sighs> oh, Gosh dang good. it, Bob. All right. You guys make me feel terrible about myself. So originally last week we were going to do this topic and um, we didn't. But now we're we're armed with all sorts of information. Bob, tell everybody what we're going to talk about today. So it was actually Derek's idea. Derek brings tons of great ideas to the he, show. He does. And one, one of his ideas He'll, was... But he hears them two and a half seconds after we talk about them. Right. Uh, his ideas are delayed. But one of the things we talked about <laughs> is where where are they now? So a cool segment about that, just random people that that we've seen throughout our childhood or throughout time or somebody that we've seen a lot of and all of a sudden they just disappeared. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of, you know, what this thing's about. So Derek... People uh, who used to be famous but are not famous anymore. Yeah. That's they're the, still famous. The they're just off the grid. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. Okay. So... Or are they? Bob, will you let... Can Derek take the first one? Can he talk about this person and then you can expand on it? Well, there's nothing to really expand on it, but sure, he he can take it. Derek, are you uh, looking at the spreadsheet? Yeah, are, are we looking at the wrestler? Yeah, go yes. ahead. Yeah. So, okay, Ted DiBiase. This guy was known as the Million Dollar Man. Yeah. Uh, Ted DiBiase is swapped revering cold hard cash for wor- worshiping God in one of <laughs> wrestling's most surprising career. Reinventions. I am terrible at reading, apparently. No, it's okay. After leaving, and I can't. I know um, he, now, the way he wrote it. You gotta like it. Like got weird, didn't it? Well, because yeah, obviously, I I, I, I'm I, sorry I didn't wrap the text. It's on okay. My spreadsheet. <laughs> After no, leaving, Re- ready? Watch this magic. Ready? Okay, go. Magic of the internet. Oh, that's oh, nice. There, there you go. There you go. Okay, go now read, read it, it, Derek. I still can't. After leaving the WCW in 1999, Ted DiBiase, is that how you say it? DiBiase. Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man from WWE, but then he left the WCW. Those guys go back and forth. In 1999, he, he, took, to. he took a role on a new role, Christian minister, by forming his own Heart of David ministry. What the heck is Heart of David, Bob? It's probably, I don't know, it's probably just some... You didn't spin-off. Google Heart of David? No. Oh my gosh. It's probably just some spin off. It's probably something like Lutheran or Pentecostal or something like that. <laughs> Lutheran just, no, or seriously. Pentecostal? Like, dude, could you have gone like more like no, opposites? That's probably, that's pr- it's probably one of the t- two or somewhere in between. It's a pretty good website. Heart of David that's Ministries. Weird. But it doesn't I remember have Ted, Ted anywhere. DiBiase. I remember him in the 80s. You know, oh, yeah. on USA Network, WWF. Yeah. But you he know, does, he it like. Million Dollar Man. It shows him milliondollarman.com, Heart of David Ministry. Huh. No, see, so he's like, obviously, he's affiliated with this Heart of David Ministry because his website sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Is it like one of those old GeoCities websites? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It's terrible. My Remember space? that? Yeah, it's terrible. It's just like, uh, Ted, the one that you're connected to is like, obviously, you can tell, really professional. So this is obviously something that he joined and he gets to be a part of. Anyway, so Ted, talk about Ted, the million dollar man. What Did he have like a, a famous catchphrase or anything that you guys remember? Because I don't remember him very well. Oh, gosh. I think he just oh. dressed up in a tuxedo. He had money all the time, right? Oh, it's character, on the tip of my tongue, remember. too. That makes me so mad. Because <laughs> I thought for sure Bob would, like, bust it out so hardcore. I thought he was going to be like, It doesn't matter what you think! I'm trying to remember the first part of it, but he, he always says, The million dollar man always gets his way. <laughs> Yeah, he had, he had a bunch of different ones, but it was uh, it was it was good. He wasn't so Ted was not like an actual wrestler though, was he? Did he wrestle? Yes, he, oh yeah, yeah. I thought he yeah, was he like maybe like Jimmy the Mouth of the South or something like that. Like a Jimmy no, Hart. I remember. Yeah. there was like a, a. I remember there was like a Nintendo game or an arcade game that was like WWE wrestling, and he was in it. 
When did they switch from WWE, WWF to WWE? Because I see, when I was a kid, it was always WWF. They, I don't yeah, know. It was like I, the, I have the to nineties. Yeah, they, they got they switched because the World Wildlife Fund, WWF, said that they didn't want to be a part of, they don't want to be affiliated with the wrestling network. So there was a big court battle, and WWF World Wildlife Fund actually won. So they switched it over to WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Feels like a missed opportunity, though, for some corporate sponsorship. Right. You, know, you could have, like, environmentally themed wrestlers. Like the, you know, what's that? We're going to pound you in the ground and take you down like they're taking down those trees in the rainforest or whatever. <laughs> well, it, what? you mentioned Jimmy Hart, but I'm not you got to remember... You got to remember Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South. He was with Ted DiBiase. Oh, okay. So he was the little manager guy running around, and Ted DiBiase was the actual wrestler. Okay, the see? mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Yeah, I love that those people still go around to like little shows and stuff, and people show up. Like I have a friend from high school who goes and sees these guys and gets pictures with them and stuff. It's it's pretty interesting to me that people it's crazy still. To th- Go around and find them. Go ahead, Bob. Sorry. It's a crazy to think that, you know, when I grew up in the 80s, Jimmy Hart was, you know, he was a huge, huge part of wrestling. He was a little weasel, but yeah, to look at this and say that he's 75 years old, that's crazy. Yeah. The other guy, I'm trying to remember the name of the other guy that was kind of like Jimmy Hart. He didn't wrestle. But he was just a total scumbag. And he would get beat up all the time. He was a little overweight. Um, dang it. What's that guy's name? We need your brother on the show for this. Oh, Who was he with? Dang it. Yeah, who's... Who? I can't remember. Is he with The Undertaker? <laughs> no, that no. Was that Paul was Bearer. Paul Bearer. I knew Paul him. Bearer. No, there was a guy before him. Dang it. Now I'm going to go crazy. Speaking of Jimmy Hart, this is... I just remembered this, but I remember there was like, I went to, when I was in the Air Force, or maybe it was after I went to the Air Force, I went overseas to Iraq for a time, and they would have USO shows, and they would have entertainers brought in. I've I've met like Chuck Norris and Robin Williams that way. You met Robin Williams? Yeah. I did. But we had a... I remember I was like sitting in the, the 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 dining facility, the the chow hall, mm-hmm. and I think Jimmy Hart and a few other like wrestling personalities were just like sitting across the room, and I saw him. I didn't say anything to him because it was like lunch, but I didn't go to the show or whatever. Oh, dude, you know who I'm thinking of? Bobby the Brain. Bobby Heenan. the Brain Heenan. Yep. <laughs> How exactly. did you teach it right at the same time as me? Yep. Yeah, I knew who you were thinking about. It just took me took me a second to remember. He would always wear those was. like um those those I want to call them slacks because that's what, the ones with the like the real high-waisted slacks yep. with the little belt that's attached to the actual pants, polyester. And he would get his butt kicked all the time. Like they would throw oh, him yeah. in the ring and stuff and he looked he looked too old to get beat up. I would always be like, "Oh, dude, they're going to hurt that guy." But he was a little portly. He was not like super huge fat. He wasn't like, hey, but he was he was bigger, and they would they would pound on him. <laughs> they would they would get him a couple of times, and then he would run out of the ring. He would always oh, get yeah, hit that's... or something, and then he would run for his life. Yes, Bobby was known for that. That was his <laughs> thing. I mean, he he was just he would go cause trouble, and then he'd run. I mean, that's kind of his. That was his bit. So. Yeah. Where is Where is Bobby now? He's got to be in dead. The grave. Yeah, he, he died in 2017. <laughs> so he that's just loves God's for... like he's got to be dead. <laughs> he has you to guys, be. he has to be. Speaking dead. of someone who who's not dead, but maybe if he keeps on this uh, this line, um, Dustin Diamond. Do you remember who that is? Yeah, from yes. uh, from uh, Screech. Yeah, what's the show Saved called? By the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. So after after the show, he had a few TV appearances. Oh, dude. Um, nothing nothing real big. Uh, but he was known for a self-produced sex tape, and Gosh, he's been a, he was arrested for stabbing somebody um, oh, at a bar yeah. on Christmas Eve in 2014. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was arrested again in 2016 for probation violation, 
And I thought there was something else that occurred um, more recent, but uh, that's a guy who just... The the last thing I heard, he was trying to clean himself up, obviously. But he he's supposedly a comedian. He does stand-up comedy. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Poor Dustin. Oh, Screech. I can just see Mr. Belding, like, showing up to jail and, like, <laughs> like Screech, what's going on? <gasps> Jeez, I'm sorry, Mr. Belding. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Mr. That Belding had it coming. <laughs> if I remember correctly, though, Mr. Belding, we'll have to do some research on this for sure. But Mr. Belding is kind of a creep. Um, yes, I think he got in trouble for uh, like child porn or something. Didn't yeah, he? something gross. He's a little creepy. He was on it. Speaking of a little callback to Bob, what Bob watched on Monday, watching the Jimmy Fallon show. You know, Jimmy Fallon did an entire remake. He had uh, Zach and Tiffany Amber Thiessen and all so those guys. Funny. And I think I'm pretty sure Mr. Belding was there, wasn't he? Uh, no. He did. Oh, they did so. not invite Mr. Belding. Wow. I don't Screech was, was not there. there either, was he? So it no. was just uh. Jimmy played Screech, I believe. Jimmy or Fallon something. played Screech. Or some. I don't know. I think he just played another cool kid. And then uh, the guy who does like that Entertainment Tonight show or whatever that's called, Mario, Mario Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, the best thing about it is now that you're a little behind, when I do think of it within two and a half seconds, I say it almost at the exact same time as you. But you always know really fast. You always know who I'm talking about. You know who else yeah. Derek always knows that we're talking about? It's the guy who makes the coffee. I'm making the coffee! Who makes our coffee, Derek? Chris Bean makes our coffee. Yes, he does. And you can get some of that coffee if you go to numacoffee.com. That's P N E U M A coffee.com. He's got all kinds of hand picked farm sourced coffee. He knows, he has relationships with the farmers and gets them their money. They get paid. So you're, you know, you're helping them out. You're helping the farmers out when you order from Chris at numacoffee.com and you can help yourself to a nice tasty discount. HWT is the is the coupon code and that'll get you 20% off your order. numacoffee.com, Chris Bean, Cincinnati, Ohio. Worldwide global outreach. I don't know what to say. Anymore. <laughs> coffee? Coffee? Anybody? <laughs> All right, there was so, a- <laughs> so go to numacoffee.com and get yourself some coffee. That was good. I like to we, let we Derek to just kind of have fun with that. Soon. We do. We need to have Chris on the show. I'm talk making some the coffee! Because he can help us make some coffee. Yeah. But it's come yeah, to that time again. It's 20 wow, minutes. Wow, we got through two of them. That's I awesome. Know. 20 minutes go fast, dude. Really does. Well, you have I will to th- keep this on the spreadsheet and just cross off the ones we did. Listen, Derek likes the idea of making it a recurring segment. We're gonna have to get it a little tighter. We got a little, we got a little lost in the text. That's okay. It's gonna happen though. That's that's what happens on this show. I know, I know. Preparation is not job one. <laughs> and hey, we're talking. Although, Derek, Bob, you do tons of prep. I say that stuff, but I you just do, do tons. My part. I do my part. That's no, you all. do tons of prep. Credit to you, Bob. Yeah. It's, it's a team five effort. Five gold stars. Five Ooh. gold stars? Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Six. Dang five gold stars. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. So listen, thank you so much for listening to the show. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. You can watch the videos on YouTube, Facebook. You can listen, listen to us on any of your favorite podcasting apps. Tune in Monday through Friday. It will always be on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but sometimes if you're lucky, you'll also get a Tuesday, Thursday in there. It's exciting. Lots of cool things happening here at Hey, We're Talking. We appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Oh, hi, Mark. Red It doesn't matter what you think! I'm making
taking the coffee!